Hi, this is Hassan Bilal. In this video, I am going to show the demo for the desktop applications that I have developed. So let's start with the first one, which is an INC tablet. This application is basically related to a business that deal with the repayment of the tablets of the customers. So we are on the dashboard screen. We have five options. We make booking for the tablet repayments for the, of the customers. Then we make the dispatchment. Then we can view the list of orders and we can return that orders or we can update the information for that order which says account so let me open the booking form so we are we are on booking form we input some data for a booking of a customer once the information is input you can see the below are the bookings that i have already made in system then we can go to display section here is the option to scan barcode once the barcode is scanned it shows all the information and we can uh, put the customer name and the platform and similarly it goes to the orders you can see the list of orders so this is how this application is working and we can go to return section and we can enter serial number and then we can see either the that serial number is returned or not it says it's already returned and then we have account option where we can say select a, or any order and we can update the quantity the buyer name the email the prices total and there are some formulas that is written in the backend. So this is how this application is working. Now let's move to the other application, which is the Petty Portal. This is basically a dashboard application for a user that connects to the Soho CRM. So all these stats are linked with the Soho's online system. When I click on contact management, and you can see that it moves to the browser and open contact management CRM of Zoho system. So all these are working in a similar behavior. Let's click on the meeting system and you can see that it's open the Zoho meeting system online. And we also have the, uh, you can say that to do list option here, you can write your list like meeting tomorrow, tomorrow morning. You can write your tasks here and then whenever you reopen it it's already stored here and then we have an option for RSS feed this is basically a kind of you can upload any XML file the system reads the file and generates a link in it so you can click on any link and it moves back to the browser screen so this is about the uh, behave order and then let's move to the next which is continuity system this application is related to ID department of a company let me open the run the application and uh, now you can see that it basically stored the different sort of informations like a company the IT department workstation information we can add a new workstation or we can select any existing workstation and make editing so similarly for the other we have different sort of data files we can save in the system we have different sort of groups we have different list of users and we can also add different sort of servers so this is the, the application is storing all the data into the database and showing to the user and then let's move to the next part which is hecm calculator this is basically a mortgage cage loan system let me run the application this is when our, our customer wants a loan so this application has almost 19 steps and it's just work like a presentation or you can say it's work like Excel. A user, a customer came and we claim for or apply for some loan. So we take information of the customer. Like let's say I take visa of customer current balance like 500, and let's say Mastercard is 200, and its interest rate is 5 percent. So when I click on calculate, it there are some formulas written in behind, and you can see that it's calculating some figures. Similarly. There are other steps like current liabilities. We can go to previous or next, or we can calculate the current liabilities, and then we have defer interest sections. There are a lot of steps, like 90 steps of information. So you can see that let's say its retirement value is this. So this is how we input all the information of the user, and then we have final summary at the end. You can see that we have multiple steps steps. So this is how this application is working. Thank you. Now let's move to the next application.
for our next application is garage management system so this is also a beautiful database application so we have a login system and this application is totally rights based application let me log in now you can see that we are on the home screen of application so we have multiple options like we can add new user or we can change password or we can assign roles assign roles means we can assign any menu to any specific user as it's a protected and authorized application so when i go to assign roles you can see that we have different list of users so when i click on any user now when i click on any user we have list of all the menus here like you can see that we have the main menu home setup definition and transaction search and similarly we have the sub menu so we can by changing this we can allow any menu to any user so this is right space application and we have different definitions like we can open province or area or any other information like we can open car origin car model car make and other information and then we have an option for transaction let's say some customer visits our garage for some maintenance so we can open a new case for that customer we can input different sort of information the phone number the detail address the case id what's the car make what's the car model and what's the car here and other information and then we have a search option like we can search for the we have different garage so we can search garage by province by services by anything so this is basically related to garage management system and the next application is media files this is also uh, database application fully authorized with user login access so this is the login screen we have forget password option or we can have register option or if the user is registered user can log in into the system this is totally rights based application so we have different uh, uh, options like profile recipient list we have different recipients this application is basically send some audio files to a registered user email so we have recipient emails we can compose email we can type a message here we can select the customer email we can select multiple customer we can type subject or and we can add multiple audio files and then we have the email settings from which email we are want to send the email to users customers and then we have a quick message template option user management this is basically related to uh, our user uh, roles or accessibility of applications and then we have some transaction list so this is about the media files application and then move to the next which is related to player board of application let me run the application and in this application this application is related to some devices and players and their purchases so we can view the list of players in the application we can add new player or we can edit the existing player and then we have the devices we can select the player and add device for that player what how many devices does a player have and what's their version what's their model what's the device name what's the version what's the platform android or ios and then we can go to the purchases like how many players have players have how many purchases and then we have a subscription like how many devices have a subscription and which players does have purchase a subscription so these are a few examples of desktop applications that i have developed thank you so much for watching the video thank you